summer is coming. Summer is coming, but we still want to make the great foods that we enjoy during the winter, right? The little comfort foods and stews and stuff like that. So we make them a little lighter. I love this dish because it is a light fried zucchini, right? Is it a dish or is it like a side? It's a side, it's a snack. It's a snack. It's, a, it's a something, snack. yeah, it's, it's a great snack. It's something that's very easy to make and something that pretty much you, you would always have lying around the house. Do so you like zucchini? I do. You do? Yeah. So we have two beautiful zucchinis here. Mm -hmm. You like them fatter or? Anyway, like, anyway, I could get them. Are you them. like a girth? You like anyway, girth? I could get them. His job would be to slice his zucchini. It's a little skinny, this one. It's a little, it's a little fatter. That's not your problem, is it? All right. Very simply, you slice them and you julienne them into strips. Um, I'm not going to give you measurements on this because you don't need measurements. It's basically your eyeballing things. What you need is basic flour, a couple of eggs, some milk, garlic powder, Paprika, salt, and pepper. Let me ask you something. Yes. Do you want to take the flour and mix a little um, breadcrumbs in with the flour? Uh, me, no. No? Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know. Do you, do you like a breaded, like just flour in saute? Or do you like a breadcrumb on your zucchini? I don't know. I usually do just flour, but will breadcrumb and make it a little bit more depth and a little crunchier? The breadcrumb will definitely make it more crunchy, for sure. So do you want to put some breadcrumb in? That's my question to you. Um, well, you don't put it in. You would have to. You'd have to dip it, flour, egg it, and then bread it. Right. No, I'm mixing it in with the flour. All right. This is very. No, deep. no, no, no. no. It's very, no we're not doing it's too that. Deep. It's too deep a conversation. Too deep a conversation. We're not going to mix the bread and the, and the bread crumbs in the flour. We're not doing that. So you're just going to get a little milk. You like them long or you like them short? Serious those, question. Uh, those are um, too long, right? A little long. All right, okay. I'll put them in the flour for you. Yeah. Can I do that? Okay. Wait, we gotta season the flour. Well, go ahead. See right on top of this. You know what? He's here today. I have really bad bird go. So you know what I did? I said, Al, I need you. And guess what he did? He came on. Look, he's supposed to be going to work right now. He's helping me. Right? So you've got your flour here. You're gonna put a little garlic salt. Again, just eyeball it, whatever, whatever you think. A little paprika. A little salt. Can I ask what you just did? I threw some extra zucchini in there. The zucchini goes in the egg first. Well, not as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> flour, egg, flour. Is that the way you want to do it? That's how I do it. Okay. It's your show today, honey. So now we're just flouring these up, get a nice coating on them. You can't really do this wrong, folks. You really can't. It's just... Have fun with it. Definitely don't put paper down on the marble. You don't need it. Okay. So now they're floured up. I'm going to dip them in the egg. But I want to take them out of here first because we've got to dip them right back in the flour. Who remembers this as kids? When we were kids, they used to do it another way, too. You used to do the zucchini and slice it and then just fry it with the oil. Did your grandmother ever do that? Well, the, the little circles. The, yeah, little, the circles. Little, little coins. Yeah. yeah. That, yeah. That's a very fun way to do it. Yeah. So this is kind of different. One of our favorite restaurants over the years um, kind of makes a zucchini and potato appetizer. Um, and uh, it's, it's kind of their signature. If you guys are in the city, you duck into... Um, say that again? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, so... Fresco's? Yeah, Fresco by Scott. Sorry. A little... Uh, you want, you want to do the second one? Or, or just, no, we're just showing just, them just for now. The sake yeah. Of, uh, yeah. All right, so now we got them first, first bread, right? Now we're going to just dip them in the egg. Dump them back in here, bread them. We're going to set the oil. Your basic um, vegetable oil, canola oil, whatever you'd like to use.
Try to use one hand when you're breading with egg and flour because you will really lose the use of both okay. hands. <laughs> um, so if you just go, you know, one hand only, you'll be happy that you did. At least you have one clean hand, you can touch things without making a mess. Your kids are gonna love this. It's really like, a, if you could, you could go in, you really lent as to your frying. I like golden brown to flat out. Yeah, look, it's clear, clearly burnt. not rocket science right. here, right? I mean, everybody's had zucchini fries, fried zucchini sticks, zucchini sticks, whatever you want to call it. Every, you know, even crappy place has zucchini sticks, but you can make them yourself and they're super inexpensive. Buying them in a store frozen, <laughs> bad move, bad move. They're, they're not gonna, they're not gonna be good. So, they're never going to be crunchy. They're never going to be really as good as they could be. And now, our frying those? No. I, I guess I'm the other. And as far as dips go, because generally you have a, a few options, right? I love it with a fresh lemon, but there also is you could use. Remember, way back, way back in one of my earlier episodes, I believe it was episode one, season one. I make a, a marinara sauce. That marinara sauce again. I said you could use it over and over. This would be one of those instances where you get the marinara sauce and you could dip the marinara sauce, lemon. What is it? Russian dressing. It puts like a well, we can make like a remoulade. There's so many things you could do with this, right? And and there's, it's a it changes the whole makeup of the dish. So if we made like a remoulade, something real creamy, garlicky or not garlicky or lemony, everything works with zucchini. It, it's all good. And that's as you easy know. as really okay. You could get get a jar of tomato sauce in the supermarket, a jar of salad dressing, and a simple lemon. My favorite is the lemon. It's clean. Um, your kids will love it because it's got a kind of like a chippish vibe to it. We're just going to let the soil get a little hot. I think lemon no matter what. No. Nope. No good. No good. Just jack it up so we get to where we got to go. I'm so impatient with that. So impatient with that. Good? Yep. All right, now we're just going to drop a nice little sizzle out of them. It's only going to take a couple of minutes. What was that noise? Really? My dog. What is happening to my dog right now? Something. This is also great. I do this with uh, fried eggplant as well. I'll get eggplant and I'll fry it and cut it in strips and I'll put it in salad. So you get to go and that sounds gross. No, it's not gross. It'll be great in a salad too. They get in that nice golden brown color. Nice. The other crunchy. fun thing about this dish is that. If you're not a cook and you're, you know, you're afraid, like, you know, did you cook it enough? Is it done? Well, zucchini obviously could be eaten raw, so you don't have to worry about it being cooked all the way through. Um, it's not that big a deal. Um, and, and again, it's a lot of trial and error. So, I mean, what did we, what did we spend to make this dish? We bought really just used one zucchini, which is not even a dollar. And we sliced it up, used a little flour, one egg, and you really have a snack for two people. It's pretty cool. And it's a crowd pleaser. Crowd pleaser. Oh my God. I don't wish we were going anybody, okay? I don't know why it keeps finding me. That was great. You know what? It's as good as any restaurant. There's nothing to it. Maybe it was the main thing, but it's delicious. And you cannot replicate this with frozen. It doesn't work. So it's super easy, very fun. And, and the reward is like, it's delicious, fresh, restaurant quality as a guinea pig sticks. Get a little more in there. And that really, a little pepper, a little salt. So let's say that Oh, the vast majority of you are not cooks, but you want to have, have some fun in the kitchen. Okay. Go to Chick-fil-A. Get Chick-fil-A sauce. 
Again, super easy. Very, very healthy for you. Again, there's no reason to go buy them frozen because they're just that easy to make that quick. There's no measuring involved. You're just eyeballing it to say, okay, this is enough for how much flour I need to cover. Basically one egg on a medium-sized zucchini and a little splash of milk. I'm going to say a quarter of a cup for argument's sake. But this is pretty much an eyeballing it recipe. Again, frying till golden brown and just uh, pop it on a summer night on the table and hang out and have wine and cheese and stuff. I think it's really a really great addition to whether it be your appetizers, a late night snack, a summer salad on top of a steak or a chop uh, that you're grilling. It's one of those simple things that's really gratifying, really good, and really healthy. So, Right, honey? Absolutely. It's, it's kind of fun, too. It, and there's not that much cleanup. How pretty. Look how easy. It's colorful. It is a delicious, healthy snack. And what it take us? Ten minutes? Again, this is one of those emergency things that I enjoy um, because you never know on a Sunday for me, I never know who's going to walk in the door, especially, especially in the summertime when we've got, man, is a busy man, especially during the summertime when we, we have a lot of guests popping in and out, you never know who's around. So fresh vegetables are always the way to go to me, for me because I could do so many things with them and this is one of the things I do with zucchini. And again, it just became an appetizer or a snack um, rather than just, you know, in a pasta or a saute or something like that, so. Good evening.